Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today on the website of French auction portal Intanchair, we're going to have a look at another auction by Vichy, quite a well-known French auction house that do loads of different auctions. So if you've been watching the channel recently, you would have seen that we've looked at two other Vichy auctions recently, which is all these kind of lower tier musical instruments, mainly bowed kind of strings, but the first auction had a few pluck things. This is the last in the series. This is finishing on the 28th of March. It is actually the 27th today, so I've left it a little bit late, but still a bit of time to look at the catalog and bid. I'll put a link to it in the description. This is like the highest of the lower tier stuff, if you like. So it's gonna be loads of bowed stuff, lots of violins and bows, probably a lot of French stuff similar things that we'll probably just kind of skip over as quickly as possible but maybe there'll be a few interesting things here so we're going to go through that today um looks like buyer's premium is 25 percent, so whatever the final hammer price is you pay that on top this is a french auction so bear that in mind import export fees shipping CITES restrictions all of that kind of fun stuff you can read all the terms and conditions if you do enjoy these videos please consider subscribing like comment turn on notifications all of that fun stuff also feel free to email if you have any questions also in the description you'll find links to the actual catalogue and there's links to like the list of upcoming musical instrument auctions as well all of that great stuff so yeah without further ado let's just blitz through this like i said there's 400 or so lots quite a lot of it's going to a lot of it's going to be french stuff so um let's just see right let's go right at the beginning Mirkor violin 19th century fairly standard but could be worse 50 euro estimates not outrageous uh, 20th century Miracle Violin JTL, we're going to see a lot of those, once again kind of a better level, actually quite a nice scroll on that, 400 euros, clearly needs a bit of TLC. Then we've got 20th century Violin from the Eastern countries, yeah looks fairly standard there, 200 euros. So we can't look at everything because otherwise we'd all go insane but uh, we'll pick out a few things here and there, you can already see more JTL and Miracle stuff. It's a German violin, let's have a look. It's got a Ruggieri label. Very standard 19th century thing, not very exciting with this kind of fairly primitive lion's head there. Very common, 100 euros on that 363 uh, length of back there. So more JTL stuff here. 20th century German, let's have a look at this a little bit more curious there. 20th century violin bearing a Marius Ligarius iron mark in Paris, head replaced. Breakage on the table, 362. A kind of curious looking instrument here, this heavy kind of uh, outline here, very elongated F holes, uh, kind of interesting looking. Same at the back as well, this kind of looks fairly almost kind of amateur, I dare say, amateur work. So, and they're saying that the head is being replaced. Yeah, interesting. Curious enough, 200 euros. I'm I'm not against it actually. It's different. It's interesting. Um, needs clearly a lot of work, but uh, yeah, better than the usual miracle stuff we get uh, chucked in this these types of auctions. More miracle stuff here. Let's have a look at this. So this looks like the kind of the deep red varnish that we often see. Lambert Humber workshop, fairly standard. Some people like it. Three five three. It's quite a nice length of back actually, 400 euros, definitely could be worth. Uh, let's have a look at a German violin, kind of in bits. Yeah, project, 50 euros, can't complain really. More Miracle, uh, Miracle stuff here, more Miracle. Let's have a look at this one, Kuzno, 20th century. It's again, not too dissimilar from the other one that we saw, 358, a bit bigger. All of this kind of similar miracle stuff, the German violin there. More miracle there. Violin from the beginning of the 20th century with a Fendt label. It's getting more of the same, but 50 euros, not too bad. The bird workshop stuff here. Right, violin by Dominique Salazar, made in miracle around 1820, 363. It's been well and truly messed around with, but was probably a fairly nice violin at some point 363 length of back so it's a little bit big but not the worst more kind of miracle stuff here Lebert German violin here let's see yeah it doesn't look too bad 400 euros on that still fairly low tier stuff 
got some bows here, double bass bow by J. Thomasa here in Abiel Wood there. Quite a nice bow, nice heads, really quite nice work on that, 200 euros. I think that's kind of interesting. I'm not sure how many people use these this kind of type of double bass bow these days play from a player point of view but uh, interesting in any case some German bows here the bows in these auctions usually a lot better than the instruments on these lower tier ones uh, in my kind of uh, experience violin bow by Mark Lebert there signed VJ Ferrelli 300 euros on that so yeah some of these bows I think are pretty pretty decent I'm not sure what they usually go for but uh, the estimates are quite reasonable. Violin by Charles Nicholas Bazaar. So good condition. Always worth asking for condition reports on all of this stuff if you can. Especially bows. Very easy to miss repairs and damage on bows. So I definitely recommend that. So we've got nine pages to go through. So we better be a bit more brutal on this stuff. Cello bow from the Bernard factory. So 300 euros on that. Looks fairly standard. So you've got some bundles of instruments there. We're going to skip that for now. More this 20th century German JTL. We don't really need to get into it. Some of them might have really amazing backs, to be fair, but uh, I don't think we need to get into it too much. So more JTL stuff here. Let's see, fine in Eastern countries. Looking for something a little bit different, if we can find something. 19th century French violin with a Rochelle label. Uh, sleeve and bottom detached okay so it's had a bit of a hard life with the varnish there 300 euros three quarter miracle more JTL stuff here it's all pretty similar got a 20th century German violin here with a double purfling there I'm being a bit brutal to be honest because does get a bit tedious looking at the same stuff over and over again. We've got a uh, Kuzno violin there, Mirko, 352 length of back. Actually, not too bad. It's a little bit garish. It's a bit over the top, but uh, 600 euros on that. Looks in not too bad condition. A little bit of uh, work needed. So, yeah, quite interested. Back to bows again. I said bows are probably the more interesting thing here. Let's have a look at this one. Fine and Bow by Charles Nicholas Bazaar. Made around 1880. 400 euros on that. All you need to do is get some of these bows that are quite nice. Take them to uh, kind of uh, Pierre Guillaume or uh, to Raffin and get a certificate for them and you probably double, double your money or so as long as it, you buy the right bow. So, And I think some of the bow certificates are not super expensive. Violin bow by Mark Lebert, 300 euros. I think Pierre Guillaume was in London actually the other day. I think he was in one of the viewings. Maybe it was like the Terezio one. You could also go and see Pierre Guillaume in whatever. So you don't even need to go to Belgium or you don't need to go to France to see Raffin. You can just kind of wait for them to come uh, to London instead. So, But yeah, some interesting bows for sure. Definitely, if you're interested in bows, take a bit more time and have a look through this auction because there's definitely some cool stuff. Let's look at a JTL bow signed Sarasata Mitra, 300 euros. To be fair, like some of the JTL violins and the bows can be pretty good. The bows especially, some JTL bows can be really good players, so worth having a look at those. It's kind of a budget way into the French violin world. Let's have a look at this 20th century Mirkor violin with a Galliani label. Looks like pretty standard stuff there. Violin from the beginning of the 20th century with a Klotz label, yeah, with a kind of weird fake neck graft kind of thing. Not too exciting. Right, a viola, Mirkor viola. 20th century, Magini label, 395. Bottom detached, yeah, I mean, it's fairly standard as well, but if you're looking for a viola, why not? A bit more interesting, 20th century German violin, okay, different restorations on the table, including sole breakage, which basically means like a sound post crack in the top, 354. Yeah, I mean, looks possibly like 19th century kind of thing, 
but yeah 19th early 20th century something like that more JTL stuff German violin headpiece what does that actually mean no idea but anyway pretty standard thing there Miracle three quarters so this is a lower tier auction don't so don't expect too much from it um, but we're just having a look Miracle violin 19th century needs a bit of work the better Vichy auctions are a little bit later on I think violin from the beginning of the 20th century Albani label yeah it looks fairly kind of standard there or Mirko stuff just gonna see a sea of Mirko things and into some more bows a few sets of bows here three-quarter bows Jambosis 20th century German violin bow 150 euros definitely needs a bit of attention there all these bow bundles as well Violin bow made around 1900 signed O Pomar Barcelona okay interesting 300 euros on that looks all right looks half decent so it could be fairly good Violin bow from the Simon school in ironwood mounted in nickel silver yeah interesting looking wood ironwood 200 euros on that moving on because we still have lots left to look at I really like these bows I say in every auction these open trench bows viola bow from the Goud uh, school in exotic wood bone button 300 euros some more stuff here right on to more instruments Mirko again uh, all the same stuff sadly 19th century Mirko violin why not something different with its neck uh, detached actually looks like it was kind of a fairly nice violin it looks like it's got a soundpost crack on the back which is unfortunate so 100 euros to start there more 20th century Mirko a Mirko violin labelled Ludovic Riccozzali 361 that's actually fairly nice quite like this orange Mirko uh, varnish that they had I think that's quite nice yeah not too bad as these things go this whole, let's have a look at one of these sets of violins usually this is all the kind of rubbish stuff dumped in together it looks pretty standard to be fair let's see what else we've got here Mirko violin late 19th century let's have a look at that it's going to need a bit of work 150 euros on that another 20th century Mirko violin let's have a look here all fairly standard to be fair slightly weird violin from the eastern countries they say yeah it's a, not a very nice looking instrument to be fair uh do, 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 jtl stuff like i said some of the jtl stuff can be pretty good it's just scraping the barrel a bit onto bows again 20th century german bow nickel silver mounted so some of the german bows pretty good 300 euros on that one but we are just blitzing it through interesting cello uh, riser frog Joseph Arthur Vigneron a father button of the Picat school okay interesting 400 years all right they're offering a certificate with uh, with that as well so that's kind of curious German violin bow in exotic wood interesting onwards to the next page a few more bows here interesting chairman bow with this kind of lyre decoration actually the stick and the head looks okay doesn't look so nice near the frog another one of these cool open trench bows 20th century Mirko violin here 20th century violin probably from the German school violin by Francois Breton Made in Mirko 1821 needs to be reassembled there. 
200 euros on that. German three quarter. Okay, violin from the German school at the end of the 19th century. The Strad label. I don't think that's too bad. 400 euros. 350 length about. It's quite small. Half size, 20th century. Let's see, 20th century violin. Oh, done something weird. Bearing the Stark label. Kind of slight Guarneri ish look at that. 500 euros. Right, 20th century violin, Magini label. It's alright, it's like slightly nicer trade violin. It's got had some worm damage. Wow, that's a huge length of back there. 368. That's going to be probably uncomfortable for a lot of people. 20th century violin with a scarampella label. Damaged varnish. Yeah, look at the kind of the uh, the crackle on that. 100 euros. I don't actually mind that so much. It's got a bit of damage and stuff, obviously. So you need to bear that in mind. More C of JTL stuff. Violin from the Eastern Countries, end of the 19th century. That has had a very difficult life, that one. 100 euros, that's quite a, an undertaking for someone there. Medefina, that's a low-end French stuff. Right, violin of Francois Corsat Pair. 500 euros there, 363. It's got this kind of painted flame on the on the back it actually looks like quite a well made instrument there let's have a look at a JTL because I feel like I'm being a bit rude to them it's just standard isn't it it's nothing too crazy 19th century Mirkor violin with D Morlot label it's got worm and stuff like that yeah it just looks like that standard kind of violin but not against that particular type German violin here from the beginning of the 20th century. Oh, quite cool back on that, but don't think it's anything of note, really. 19th century Mirkor violin here. Yeah, quite interesting back on that. 20th century violin from the Eastern countries. Always have some quite interesting varnish layers on some of those violins. Uh, right, Mirkor violin, 20th century, 359, quite an interesting outline on that one actually, slightly different, right, we're on to loads more bows again, this looks interesting, Lebert violin bow, nickel silver mount of 47 grams, okay, see more of these uh, open trench bows that I really like. 20th century German violin bow, silver mounted, 600 uh, euros the estimate on that. Still got quite a few pages left to go. Got more bows here, some three quarters. Violin bow by Morizot Brothers, signed Violon d'Or, 150 euros on that. That looks like quite a nice bow. Cello bow by Marie Louis Pierneau, 1910, broken at the collar. Okay. Yeah, that's. I was thinking this looks like a very nice bow for quite a low estimate, but there we go. That's a problem. Yeah, could a good restorer repair that fairly well? Yeah, probably, but how much would it cost you? And, you know, it's all a bit of a trade off, isn't it? Violin Mark Lebert. Interesting and rare half size violin by De Marne, made in Rennes in 1850. Okay. Doesn't look super interesting to me, to be honest, but uh, it might be of interest to some people. Right. Violin by Nicolas Corsat, made in Neuf Chateau, 1850. Some worm here, 500 euros. Once again, this painted uh, flame on the back that they. I like it seems more mere choir. Okay, we've got an 18th century French half side and uh, Vandalin uh, violin here. Bit of a curious one there. 20th century stuff here. Mirkor violin with the label for Steiner. Pretty weird looking one. I always think these are probably like Eastern European or like Hungarian or something, these kind of violins rather than the French, but. If that's what they're saying, JTL here. Set of two violins. Definitely need. Wow, that is pretty intense. 
That is uh, very interesting indeed. Mirkor violin again, more Mirkor, three quarters, more Mirkor stuff. Violin from the eastern countries, 362 length of back. That's at least a bit more interesting than the norm. Half size Mirkor. Let's see. Violin, amateur work, 19th century. Breaks restored on the table. Yep, definitely looks fairly amateur, I'd say. 20th century, 7 8th. More Mirkor stuff. More Mirkor. Let's have a look at this. Libert, Humbert. Violin there, pretty standard. More bows. Uh, sea of bows. Let's see if there's anything else interesting here. It's quite curious. German violin bow. Nickel silver mounted with rear button. 100 euros. Okay. Let's see what else we've got here. That's fairly nice. German bow again. Split and burst on the rise. Okay, and the frog is a bit funny as well. So definitely some issues there. Things can be repaired, but it's just, is it worth it, or who's going to undertake it, really? More Mirkor stuff here. Sea of Mirkor. 20th century German violin with a Magini label. That's actually not too bad, as those things go. It's got the scroll with the extra turn. More Mirkor. 18th century violin, probably from the German school. Okay. Well, that's probably one of the most interesting violins so far, and they've taken seemingly quite a few pictures of that. So, 400 euros on that one. Three quarter stuff here. Violin, early 20th century. Really interesting uh, button there, it's almost non existent. It's quite tiny. Let's see more standard stuff here. That looks like a curious uh, varnish is gone from that. Let's see what else we've got here. Modern cello. Okay. Got cello in this auction of Asian manufacture. Looks very neatly made, to be fair. 200 euros, so can't really argue with that. Quarter size Mirkor violin. Let's have a look at that. Of the type here. Yeah. Violin by Cotro de Rue. Made in Mirkor. 300 euros on that's fine, but it's a bit long. 20th century German violin. We're on to some more bows again. Violin by JTL. 1920. Nickel silver. Small dents in the head. Collar and wand. Chapped wand knot. Okay, and moving on, violin bow from the JTL workshops, signed Picadulac in Abiel Wood there. Yeah, that one, 80 euros, looking a little bit worse for wear. Some interesting bow bundles here though. Let's see what else we've got here. 20th century German cello bow, nickel silver. 100 euros to start on that. And let's have a look at this 20th century German violin bow. 300. Mirko violin there, companion label. Okay, violin by Rene Morison. Mirko around 1940. Completely detached. Sides and neck are missing. Okay. Nice signature there. 50 euros. Well, it could be an interesting project for someone. Why not? German violin there. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Mirko violin, 19th century violin. Nothing super screaming out on me so far. 20th century stuff here. Or 20th century. Just looking for something or anything. Interesting. 20th century Mirko. Yeah, fairly standard stuff. 
set of two violins. That's kind of curious, the first one actually, in a bit of a state, but uh, partly interesting. Violin made in the Jules Leveste workshop in Mont Lucoon, 1930. Big crack on the front there. Okay, some more violins, more bows. Are we on to the last page? And is this just bows? Lebert violin bow, signed VJ, Ferrelli nickel silver, good condition. Yeah, I quite like some bows like that. Very simple, like nothing fancy about it at all. But uh, cello bow from Morozov there, workshop. Broken in the middle. Okay, so that's can be somewhat problematic. More bows here, 20th century German violin bow. Yeah, it looks like it could be usable. Violin bow by Cunio Huri, signed taut, made around 1900. Baguette with closed knot, mortise chip and back on the baguette, blows on the head side. 200 euros on that. Yeah, looks like it was quite a nice bow. Another open trench one here, but a few good bows here for sure. And... Uh, yeah that's basically it that is the end so yeah as always um i'll put a link in the description check it out see what you think not the most exciting auction to be quite honest uh but bows always seem to be interesting in these auctions so bows more than anything else so um yeah if you're interested in bows check it out so that is the Vichy auction for the 28th of march so finishing tomorrow thanks a lot for watching i really appreciate it and i'll catch you next time Bye.